I know what you're thinking. Closed back headphones are awesome, right? And yes, they are. They can be the best things ever because they can isolate you from the outside noise. They can give you a beautiful sound with a really wide sound stage if they are well designed. So today we are going to be focusing on the Austrian Audio High e X60, a headphone made in Vienna in actual Europe by engineers and other staff members that were part of the AKG group. So AKG doesn't have a Vienna office anymore and the staff decided that they can continue working on audio products and so Austrian Audio was born. This company has pledged its alliance to bring you the best sound possible and I think that those sound better than AKG ever sounded. So let's see how things I ended up like. Those headphones are priced at 399 US dollars, which is a pretty fair price point. That would place them right in the mid-range section. So they are not really in the high-end section, which is above 500 US dollars usually, but it is not an entry-level head. It is a headphone made of mainly metal. So the headband is made of metal. Those parts here are plastic. The adjusting mechanism is made of metal, very good quality. They have the connector on just one side. You need to twist it a bit before you unplug it. So this is one cable. They come with two cables in the package. They sit really nicely around my neck, very good comfort. And uh, I have been using them for gym. Like that is the thing I've been using them for. To go to the gym, to have some music while I'm at the gym and to get myself pumped up to run, to jog, to do workouts. They are not very heavy. So they sit very comfortable on my head. They provide me with a very good amount of passive noise isolation. And this is one of the reasons I'm using them at the gym. So I can basically not hear anything. Even my voice is quite muffled while I'm wearing them. So they are good at isolating you from the outside noise. Around 20 to 30 decibels of passive noise isolation. They have very deep ear cups. As you can see, the depth is very good, like almost half a finger inside the ear cup. So my ears have more than enough space. The ear cups are also very large. They are never on ear, they are always over the ear with a lot of space. The headband is very soft and it has these two slits for the headband mechanism. So they provide me with a very good overall comfort. The adjusting mechanism may feel a bit loose because they kind of escape sometimes, but that may be because I've been using them daily at the gym and I have, have been having a very good experience with them. Now, they cannot be used with the balanced cable because the connector at the ear cup side is not balanced, it is single-ended. You could theoretically open them up and get yourself a balanced connector, but I don't think that would be worth it. The ear pads are replaceable, the head pad is replaceable, everything is replaceable in them. They are truly fixable if you break something or if they wear out. As you can see, they aren't very tight, so they move quite easily, but I don't think that is a defect because I can have very good comfort with them without being bothered while using them. Being pressed at 399 US dollars, they have a ton of competition and the mid-range section is really full right now. Like there are a lot of options that you can go for. Those are just one of those options. Now, I really enjoy the comfort, I'll be honest with you. I really enjoy the comfort and I really enjoy them. They didn't really degrade after being pushed like to the maximum. I ran for about 20 minutes to almost 40 minutes sometimes. So after 40 minutes of running, I am wet. Like I am dripping with water. Like I am like a shower myself. And those are wet and they still, they don't show it. Like, does this pair look used to you? Does this show usage? They are a bit prone to fingerprints on the cups and I am not able to clean them truly every single time, but they really, really hold up to usage. Like really good. The comfort, as I said, is quite incredible and so is the sound. The sound is one of the most precise sounds that I've heard in a headphone, not just close back, just in a headphone in general. It is really precise, really sharp with a really strong treble, really strong upper treble, really good amount of air, but also a superb sub bass. They really know how to deliver an impact. Like they really punch you in the face with the bass. They really deliver a punchy sound, a dynamic sound, and a really, really clean and crisp sound. It is really enjoyable. Like I do enjoy the sound out of them. I do consider them very peppy, as I would call them. They are very energetic, very dynamic, very, very punchy, very quick. The sound is extremely fast and it is extremely good at reproducing rock and metal. Like I would purchase those for and metal and that is what I listen to at the gym like I pump myself up with really aggressive bands like System of a Down would be like the most calm band that I listen to at the gym like I would typically listen to stuff like Interrupting Cow or Queen Kona as they are called nowadays Infant Annihilator uh, just really <laughs> aggressive bands why because that kind of music can pump me up can make me feel motivated and then I can work out better. I can run for longer. I can lift up more because I feel more motivated to lift weights and I just feel better overall. 
I think that those headphones have helped me motivate myself to go to the gym. And that is a great thing because I was having problems. It is really hard to motivate yourself to go to the gym. It is hard. It is hard because you have to do it daily. Usually you just do it one or two days and then you feel fatigued and then you give up. So that is where you lose your progress. You are supposed to go every single day or at least five days a week. Let's say that is about the best that I've come with. This is not a gym channel. This is an audio file channel. And as an audio file, they really have the quality that would make me use them in a studio. Like I would not, I would, I am mastering some of my videos and some of my music content with those. They are really good at that. And comparing them to something like the Olo S5X, first of all, S5X is open back where those are closed back. I think that a closed back headphone is better for mastering, especially for rap music, for electronic music, for EDM and for metal music, where you really need to know how much bass is in the song. Like if you really want to know how much bass is in the song, those are better because Olo S5X has more bass in most songs. Also, those are very neutral, which is really good because they really show you what you are having in the song. Compared to them, Olo S5X is a bit smoother, a bit more pleasing to the ear. Always five weeks is less fatiguing, but that is not the point when you are doing music work like mixing and mastering. You want to know exactly what you have in the song. And the Austrian Audio High X60 is much better at that. It's much better at showing you just, is the song a bit too bright? Well, those will tell you. Is the song a bit too shallow or a bit too narrow? Those will show it. They have really good instrument separation and a really wide, expansive soundstage, very good layering and just generally are a pleasing pair of headphones. Like I tried the Akigi headphones in the past and Akigi, Akagi, uh, I, I typically call them Akagie in Romanian, but I don't think that is the correct spelling. So Akigi, I think would be called in English. Akigi generally doesn't have a very impressive sound. Compared to them, the Austrian Audio High X60 was much better than everything I've tried from Akigi. The Q701 I tried, it was not very impressive. It lacked bass, it lacked impact. It was just a very good sounding headphone, but not surprisingly good. The High X60 is a surprisingly good headphone. It is superb in every single way possible. And this is what I'm here to tell you. If you are looking for a really super sounding pair of closed back headphones that gives you extreme isolation from the outside noise, those are going to be it. I think that there are many options in this price range. And even for mastering headphones, there was the Avant One Pro Planar, which is even warmer and smoother than the Always 5X. So compared to them, it is going to be like a pillow on the sound, but also more relaxing pillow. Those sounds are going to be the most neutral, clean, sharp sounding mixing slash mastering headphone. Like it isn't purposely marketed for that. So it is a headphone that is just marketed as a general usage headphone. And that is what I'm doing them for general usage. They are pleasing to listen with everything, rock, metal, EDM, pop, most commercial music actually, because I don't really listen to jazz that much, especially at the gym. And even at home, I listen mostly to rap with them. I don't really play jazz over them because I don't really play jazz that much. I prefer listening to more aggressive, more jumpy music, like stuff that you could either dance to or work out. That is my music listening palette. It is what I know how to appreciate best. It's not that I can't appreciate jazz, it's more like my inner mood typically doesn't resound with jazz. Although to power those, you could say that I've used a bit of an overkill source. This is the Astel Kern Acro CA1000T, which has a tube amp inside. It can work in hybrid mode or in solid state mode or just in tube mode. It has a ton of driving power. It has both balanced and single-ended outputs. This one is a bit of an overkill for them. Like for a 400 US dollars headphone, you are supposed to purchase a source that is above 1000 US dollars. So instead I'm using the Shining UP4 2022, which I find to be a really good source. I'm actually using this at the gym. The thing is I can just open them up and I can clip the Shining UP4 to the headband and it looks like this. Just really comfortable, pretty stealthy. I, I mean, there is the cable that you don't see right now, but it is still pretty stealthy. It doesn't look bad. The Shining UP4 2022 doesn't add very much to the weight, so they don't become heavy. They sit really nicely on my head and it continues to be a very pleasing combo. So if you are looking for a good gym combo, although it is a bit pricey for a gym combo, or if you are looking for a very high quality over the ear headphone, the Austrian Audio He X60 is a really recommended one. Also recommend recommend you to check out my other videos, to subscribe to Audiophile Heaven if you enjoyed the content. Also leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget sharing this video with everyone will help me a lot. If you feel like donating or giving me a dime, I have a PayPal link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope we'll see each other really soon. Bye bye.